For seven years now, accused drug kingpin Antoine Jones has fought his arrest, taking his case all the way to the Supreme Court, where he got one conviction overturned. And while that case changed the rules for how police use GPS, it didn't set Jones free. In fact, his third trial just ended with a hung jury where Jones represented himself. In a rare interview from inside the D.C. jail, Sam Ford has his side of the story in an exclusive report you will only see here on 7. Speaking in the D.C. jail, the man accused of being a drug kingpin, 53-year-old Antoine Jones, seemed amazed himself. You had a person who's inexperienced, and you got two well-experienced prosecutors with paralegal sitting at the table, with FBI detective. Acting as his own lawyer with a 12th grade education, he took on the feds in the U.S. District Courtroom and fought them to a draw last month, a 6-6 to six hung jury. No evidence of drugs on me, with me, in my club, in my houses, in my jeeps, nowhere. But they expect a jury to convict me. Jones hasn't been free since his arrest in October 2005 when he owned two D.C. nightclubs, Killy's Cafe in Northwest and Levels in Northeast. Police stopped Levels manager Lawrence Maynard for speeding in Jones's minivan. They found 69,000 cash inside. I had two clubs. I deal with cash money. A later raid of this house in Fort Washington, Maryland, yielded nearly $2 million in cash and cocaine. Agents said it was Jones's stash house and that a GPS they'd secretly put on his Jeep proved he'd been there. That house had no ties or relationship to me at all. Nothing. At his first trial in 2006, a jury acquitted Jones of 33 charges but hung up on one conspiracy charge. At his second trial in 2008, another jury found him guilty of that conspiracy count and a judge sentenced him to life in prison. But then the U.S. Supreme Court ruled unanimously that the GPS device agents put on Jones's car without a warrant linking him to the drug house violated the search and seizure Fourth Amendment. His conviction was overturned. In January, prosecutors launched a third trial trial and Jones didn't like his court appointed lawyer. If your lawyer don't have confidence in you and if your lawyer going to sell you out, you need to go and fight for yourself. U.S. Attorney Ron Machen has declined all comment except for a statement that his office plans to try Jones a fourth time. They know I'm a fighter. If I had to fight a fourth trial, a fifth trial, a sixth trial, I would fight until the end. One former prosecutor told me that the evidence against Jones was so strong, it's amazing that six jurors voted to acquit. So far, no date set on this fourth trial, and Jones has waived his right to a speedy trial, saying he wants to find a lawyer this time that he can trust. Reporting from the newsroom, Sam Ford, ABC 7 News.